The starting point for many consultants on a design team is to link to an architectural model that has already been created. We can use the Link Revit tool that appears in the Insert tab to link to a Revit model file. Be sure to choose the Origin to Origin Position option to make sure your project coordinates are aligned with the linked model. The linked model appears in your project and you can pin it to make sure that it isn't accidentally moved. Next we'll copy some elements from the linked model into our host project to help us get started with our design. Use the Copy Monitor tool in the Collaborate tab and select the linked model. Then we will set the Copy Monitor options to define how we'd like each of the elements copied in. For the levels and grids we won't make any changes. For the columns we can choose new types but we'll leave those as is for now. For walls we could choose any of the types available in our project but we'll leave those as is also. And for floors we'll again accept the defaults. Now that we've set the options we can select the items to be copied in. Let's use a drag selection to copy the entire project in this elevation view. Then we'll filter the selection to remove the walls. Let's apply and click OK. Then we'll click Finish in the Options bar to complete the selection for this view. You can ignore any warnings about the floor openings. Next we'll switch to the, next, we'll switch to the south elevation and do a drag selection. For this view we'll uncheck everything except the grids. For this view, we'll uncheck everything except the grids because we selected those items in the last view. Again, we'll click Finish to complete the selection. Now we can go back to the Copy Monitor tab and click Finish to copy all the selected items into our host project. Let's also copy in the retaining walls at the lower level. Use Copy Monitor, then use the Copy option to select those walls and copy them in one by one. Having copied in the elements we wanted, we can now create some working views for our structural design. Let's start by creating a default 3D view. We can duplicate it and create a new view where we hide the linked model. I'll give it a meaningful name, renaming it. And we'll use the VG shortcut and go to the Revit Links tab and turn off the visibility of the linked model. This view shows only the floors, walls, and columns that were copied in from the linked model. Now let's create some plan views for each of the levels. We can use the plan views tool to create structural floor plans for each of the levels in the project. They'll appear in the project browser under the structural plan section in the outline. We'll use the visibility graphics overrides to turn off the linked model in each of those plan views so they'll be uncluttered and ready for our structural design tasks.